types of research methods, definition of grounded theory, when do you use grounded theory, types of grounded theory, what are the steps in conducting grounded theory, pros and cons of using grounded theory. There are seven basic types of research methods. Experiment, survey research, observation, case studies, grounded theory, action research, and mixed methods. The choice for a particular research method will depend on the research objectives and the type of research question of your study. Also, on your viewpoint on what makes good research. In this video, I will explain you in detail about grounded theory research method. What is grounded theory? Grounded theory is a systematic set of procedures to develop an inductively derived theory from the data. Grounded theory is mainly used for qualitative research but is also applicable to other data, example quantitative data. Development of the grounded theory. Two psychologists, Bernie G. Glasser and Anselm L. Strauss, developed grounded theory in the late 1960s. University of California, San Francisco Medical Center with patients who were terminally ill recorded, publicized their methods of research. Glasser and Strauss developed a book that explained in detail on their grounded theory procedures, The Discovery of Grounded Theory, 1967. When do you use grounded theory? When you need a broad theory or explanation of a process. Especially helpful when current theories about a phenomenon are either inadequate or non-existent. When you wish to study some process such as how students develop as writers or how high achieving African, American and Asian women's career develop. Conducting a grounded theory study. Decide if grounded theory design best addresses the research problem. Identify a process to study. Seek approval and access. Conduct theoretical sampling. Code the data. Use selective coding and develop the theory. Validate your theory. Write a grounded theory research report. What is theoretical sampling? Theoretical sampling is the process of data collection for generating theory, whereby the analyst jointly collects, codes, and analyzes the data and decides what data to collect next and where to find them in order to develop his theory as it emerges. Types of grounded theory designs. There are three dominant designs for grounded theory. Systematic design, emerging design, constructivist approach. What is systematic design? A systematic design in grounded theory emphasizes the use of data analysis steps of open, axial, and selective coding and the development of a logic paradigm or a visual picture of the theory generated. In this design, three phases of coding exist. Open, axial, and selective coding. What is emerging design? Glacier stresses the importance of letting a theory emerge from the data rather than using specific present categories. What is constructivist approach? The constructivist approach has been articulated by Katia Charmes. She focuses on the importance of meaning's individual attribute to the focus of the study. Applying active codes, the researcher looks at the participant's thought, feelings, values, viewpoints, assertion, etc. rather than gathering facts and describing acts. Advantages of Grounded Theory Grounded theory is helpful to develop an understanding phenomena that cannot be explained with existing theories and paradigm. Appropriate application of this methodology in your dissertation is most likely to gain you high marks. This methodology offers a systematic and rigorous process of data collection and data analysis. Therefore, research problem can be studied in a great level of depth. Application of this methodology in practice foster creativity and critical thinking. Disadvantages of Grounded Theory Grounded theory methodology is time-consuming and difficult to conduct. There is a great room for researcher-induced bias. 
presentation of research findings in grounded theory is not straightforward. Thank you for watching this video.